Hi, this is Kevin Woodbury, and I want to show you two basic tools. Um, I've shown you the selection tool during the session, but I'm going to do it again, and I'm going to use the polygonal selection tool. And what I want to do is move this rock out of the scene, and uh, along with this puddle of water. Um, so we're going to use a couple of tools. I'm going to start with the polygonal tool. You can also use the quick select tool which is right here, um, but for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to use this. Um, so you want to select the polygonal tool, and when you do the, the um, selection, you want to click first, uh, just outside of where you want to select, and then click a second time and hold the mouse button down, and see how it draws that line? Now. I'm going to change direction, so I'm going to let go of the mouse button. I'm going to click it again, hold it down, and change directions. Uh, let it go, click again, hold it down. And I'm going to continue to do that as I draw lines around uh, the, the uh, puddle and the rock. Um, now I'm drawing, I'm giving it a lot of space. I'll show you the quick select tool and what that would do after I show you this demonstration. But um, the reason I'm giving it a lot of space is because when I go to fill this, I want to have enough space around it. And this is the one thing I find with the polygonal tool. You have to be exactly on the starting spot in, uh, for, in order for this dotted line to appear. So once you've done that, um, so you just keep clicking as you go around, let go, change directions, click, hold, continue to do that, and you have to go back to the starting spot. And once you click and let go on that, um, you'll get this selection. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to go up to Edit. I want to go to Fill. and. I want content aware. There's a couple of choices here, um, but I want content aware uh, because I want it to fill in that space with what's around it, meaning the sand in this case. Now it doesn't always do the best job, so I'm going to show you what it'll do. And notice that it did fill in the space, but the sand, the texture of the sand is different. Um, now, as a purist, I, I'd kind of like it to be the same. So I'm going to go ahead and hit um, Control on a PC or Command on a Mac, hold it down and hit the letter D as in dog, and that deselects it. So notice the rock is gone, but you can tell that something has happened here. So the next tool I'm going to show you is the Clone tool and it looks like a rubber stamp. So I'm going to click on that um, and I want to make sure that the opacity and the flow is 100%. Um, making sure that it is, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to probably select up here and by select I mean I want to tell it where I want to copy from. So I'm going to hold down my Alt key or Option key on a Mac and you notice that the cursor changes to a kind of a crosshair. And I'm going to click basically from where I want to copy from. So I'm going to start here maybe. And I'm going to just click and let go. So I hold that Alt and Option key down. I click on my mouse button real quick. That sets the beginning point where I want to copy from. Then I'm going to go to where I want to start the copy to occur. And I'm going to click and hold the mouse and drag across that space. Uh, let it go, do it again. Um, notice that it's copying uh, from the area, and it's going to be hard to see on the screen, but you should see a crosshair kind of following behind the uh, cursor. And what that's doing is copying from that space. Now, this isn't the best copy because you can see a pattern emerging. Um, so maybe I'll try this instead. I'll come down here, hold down my Alt key or my Option key, click, let it go, 
come up here and drag upward. And actually, I might go, uh, I don't want to go that far. It's not a perfect process. You kind of have to play with it. But notice I'm filling in that space. Now, it, may, it looks like the sand has changed direction. So again, that's not the best copy. So you kind of have to play with this. It's, it's not a perfect thing. Um, what I try to do is copy or go in the grain, the direction of the grain, in this case of the sand. This is a little better than the last two attempts. Um, and so, again, this isn't perfect, and if this were a real exercise, I would be taking a lot more time and, and doing it differently. But this is um, just copying over. Not perfect by any means. I'm going to click and hold here. I do reset a lot of times. I'll do, I will reset my beginning point a number of times. So I'm going to click here again. Um, now that's by no means a perfect job, um, but at least it's a little bit more consistent than it was when I, when I did the fill. So, um, for our purposes, that's good enough. Um, it's by no means great. Uh, and I am a perfectionist sometimes, so, uh, you know, I'm getting rid of all this. That's good enough. It's it's by no means perfect. Uh, to do it right, I'm going to have to take a lot more time. Because uh, sand and water and even sky, when you clone them, are very difficult. Because they all have a pattern or a grain, and you got to be careful not to repeat that. But... For our purposes, I'm going to leave it be. Um, so that's how you take something out of a scene and then through cloning, you kind of repair um, that space. Now, I could have cloned that rock out completely without the fill, but I find that it's easier to take it out and then clone in where it, where it used to be. So that's Kevin Woodbury. Um, for uh, Twin Sons Productions, uh, there is a story behind that, and um, I hope this was helpful. Uh, I'll do some more and hope that you find them useful. Take care. Bye-bye.